Hi, this is Sean here with Gallagher Website Design and in this video we're going to go over how to activate the Divi Visual Builder on your site so that then you can use it to edit your website. So first of all here, I've set up an example website here for us so that we can walk through this step by step and go through the whole process. It's a pretty easy process, pretty simple as you'll see but uh, we'll walk through it step by step. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is log into your WordPress admin area. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and uh, log into that. Okay, once you've logged in, you're gonna see something similar to this, which is your dashboard here in WordPress. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually go back to your website, and I've kinda of set these up in different tabs here on my uh, browser. This way it's just easier for me to kinda of go back, but if you were on this page, you logged in, you can always click right here at the top to go to your homepage. Um, if you just click on that, it will send you to your homepage, but I'm just gonna click over here to this tab because we've already pulled it up. So here's the homepage here. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you see a black banner that goes across the top, which you don't see here. So we're going to go ahead and refresh this page just to make sure that we see that. And you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. Okay, now that we've refreshed the page, you'll see there is this black banner that goes across the top. That'll help you to know that you are logged into the website. Uh, only those people who are logged into the back end, the admin area, actually see this. So your uh, normal people that visit your website aren't gonna see this unless they're actually logged in. So next thing you wanna do is you look up here on this, this black bar and there's a couple of different options up here. And we wanna look for the enable visual builder and you're gonna see that here. Uh, probably in this same sort of section on your website. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that, and that's actually gonna enable that Divi Visual Builder for us. And it's gonna take a little bit here. You may see it spinning for a little bit. Just let it go, um, and in a few seconds or so, it should uh, finish. Once it's completely done, you'll know that you are using the Visual Builder because you can look up here on the black banner again and you're gonna see it says Exit Visual Builder. So that would signify you, the Visual Builder is enabled and you're actually using it. The other thing you'll notice is that um, as you put your mouse over areas on your website, you're gonna see um, the, an outline show up on that section and a toolbar that comes up above that, that section. That's gonna also just let you know that you're definitely in the Visual Builder, and that's what you want. Using the Visual Builder, this allows you to edit these sections here visually so that uh, you can edit them while you are actually looking at the site and see the changes reflected right here on the website. <clears throat> so let's just, for example's sake, let's just uh, go in here and edit some of this text. So say I wanted to edit this module of text, you're gonna to wanna to click on this cog icon here, and that's gonna bring up a pop-up here. And this pop-up, you're gonna see in the pop-up the text here that you can actually edit. You can go ahead here and actually start typing, and you'll notice as you're typing, um, you'll see the actual text that I'm typing or changing actually does show up here live on the website as you do it. You know, once you're done, I'm gonna kinda just uh, undo that because I don't wanna save that, but once you are done, you're gonna wanna click this checkbox here. That will set everything on the page. And then the last thing you're gonna need to do to save any changes that you might have made, because you can continue on and make other changes on the page, is you're gonna wanna come down here and in the center at the bottom, you're gonna see these three dots in this uh, circle. If you click on that, it's gonna open up this toolbar at the bottom. And at the very uh, right hand side, you're gonna see this uh, save button here. You're gonna wanna click that. And then you're gonna see a graphic spinning that it's loading and it's saving it. You just let that do that and you'll see a check mark once it's done and it'll go back and say save. So now you know this page has saved, the changes you made are saved. Once you're completely done, the next thing I'd suggest you do is exit the Visual Builder and just confirm that the changes you made actually do show up on your site. So to do that, you just click on this Exit Visual Builder and you're just gonna let that load and that should refresh this page uh, and you should now be 
not inside the visual builder it's not enabled and you should again see now up here it says enable visual builder which would signify you're not using the visual builder anymore so you're looking at the page just like anyone else would that would come to your site and then you can just verify that those changes you made actually show up here on your website and there you go that's how to enable the visual builder and also how to exit the visual builder um, if you uh, want to check out, please check out our link. I have a link in the description for more um, uh, courses and more uh, information on editing your website. I put together a little course for you guys. So go ahead and check out that link in the description if you're not already signed up for our course.